Hi, in this video, I will discuss how we can export as a XML or as a DEM this surface. We can easily export it. For example, if we go to the prospector tool and from the prospector tool, we need to go to the surface here. This is the surface we already created recently. We can see the surface here. Then next, we can just click on the surface which we created recently. From here, we can see different type of option. For example, the first is surface property, edit surface style, rebuild, rebuild automatic, create snapshot. You can remove the snapshot, rebuild, add labels. If you wanted to go to add label, you can easily add it. You can even delete it. You can zoom it. You can pan it. You can lock. So if you want to export, you can go to export to is a DEM, digital elevation model. You can easily also expect, export as a DEM. So then you can use it in another software as a digital model. So the architecture or any other engineer can work on this. So if you want to export as a land XML, you can easily export as a land, a land XML. Mostly when we are working in Civil 3D, then we are exporting as a land XML. So it can easily import and attach to, to the file again. So click on this export XML. So this will give you this option. If there is any unnecessary options, you can just close it. So once you click, you can see the edit export setting. If you check, this is the edit export setting. If you want to do some basic changing on this, you can easily do it in the data setting, point export and surface export settings, parcel export settings, you can do it from here. So click on OK. Once you click on OK, it will ask you that select your location where you want to save it. So, so I will export, I will select this option here. So there is the land XML. You can see the file format is land XML. So save as. You can save as now your file is exported as a land XML. If you want to export as a DEM, you can also export as a DEM. So you can see the grid spacing sample. You can see it. Okay. Now it's going to tell you that select the file, which one you want to export. So from here, you can just easily select exporting zone projection. Whatever your projection, you can just select all the property and setting then easily you can export as a xml so this is our eg file you can just change it from here so select dem file you need to select as a dem file from here once you select then go to then select the file location just save it once you save it you can also select the zone you can just click select the zone just projection go to wgs84 system once you go to the wgs84 from here our zone is 38n so i will select 38n as per your required as per your coordinate system you can select as i explained in the previous video select it and press on ok once you click ok now you will see that your file is exported as a dem so if we go to if we check it here we can see it here the xml and we can also see the DEM file from here. We can see this is our DEM file. So same as it is, you can export as a XML or as a DEM digital elevation model. So it's very helpful. It can help if architecture is required from you, the digital elevation or um, 3D mesh, you can easily provide to them these things. From here, we will go to the insert. For example, if you are going to import the same XML surface, how we can do it? We'll go to the home. From the home, we can see here the insert. And from the insert, we can click on the land XML. So from here, we can easily import. So click on the land XML and select your location where you saved your file. So here is our land XML, which we recently exported. We will select this file and we will click and it will ask you some of this basic information setting. You can just do it. So, OK, once you click on OK, you can see that this land XML surface is imported successfully. Even you can see the name here. If you want to do some basic changing, do go to the surface property, edit surface style, shape, change label style, change the contour smoothing, change the contour interval change the colors each and everything you can do it from here so i hope this will be helpful we will see in the next goodbye and take care